Hello world, welcome back to Razer RC. Got a review of some batteries that was sent out to me by Awanfi. Uh, you may have seen other reviews of these batteries from JTRC or Scott Dilla RC. Uh, they got a bunch of nice videos on these, but Awanfi sent me a couple of batteries. These are their brand new 2S batteries, so 6,500 milliamp hour batteries, 100C, 2S LiPo, and they come in a hard case. So uh, previously they are top of the line, 2S battery was like a 5,000 milliamp hour and I think 60C rating. So these just came out higher spec, higher capacity, higher C rating. So uh, pretty nice batteries overall. The most amazing thing about these batteries is that they, they are cheap. A two pack like this from Amazon sells for $60. That includes the two batteries you see here. Also includes some extras in the box. So in the box, you also get a battery strap. You get a little lipo tester and some instructions as well. So pretty amazing value overall for $60 for two, two batteries. That's pretty amazing. I mean, most 2S lipo, like high quality lipos cost about $60 for one battery. So uh, $30 each, that's pretty crazy cheap. And so I was interested to see how these perform. And so I'm just gonna go over these real quick. I've been running this in my Creighton 4S uh, from Arma. That's a 3S and 4S capable uh, RC car. And so I've been running these in series to get up to 4S and they fit perfectly within my Arma Creighton 4x4. Uh, run really well. Actually, I did some speed tests today. Um, fully charged batteries. I was getting 54.6 miles per hour. I think that's the fastest I've seen anyone on YouTube actually running an Arma Creighton 4S. So you know these are actually performing pretty well. They, they're going to peak out and give you your RC car basically the highest performance. I mean, 100 Cs is really high. 100, the, the actual C rating for every manufacturer is different. So 100 C, you know, may be different than another brand's 100 C, but these are definitely a uh, high flowing uh, pack. So definitely will get you uh, top speed, I think, with these packs. So I've been really impressed overall. So they come in a hard case, sort of a carbon looking, uh, case with a, a nice little shrink wrap around it. They actually come with Dean's plugs. I swapped those out for EC5s because you know EC5s obviously is what you run on Arma. Come with a little balance plug with actually a nice little uh, holder. I was kind of iffy on the holder at first, but they actually do make it easier to plug stuff in and out. You know, even on something like the LiPo tester, let's just kind of show you how that works. You just plug that in. I mean, it goes in easier and actually you can pull it out a lot easier. So uh you know pretty actually i do actually like this little uh holder i didn't think i would but i do like it overall uh quick tip on the little battery tester it does have an alarm that you can actually adjust so when you plug that in it beeps and then shows you the voltage on each cell but you can also adjust the actual uh warning uh cutoff so for different voltages for each cell. So you could, you know, have it beep at 3.2, whatever, by just pushing this button on top, or you can actually turn it off if you don't want it to sound an alarm. The other trick on this thing is, it is crazy loud. So I actually stuck a little bit of shugu uh, in those little speakers up top just to quiet it down so it's not crazy loud. I mean, you definitely don't wanna test your lipos in the middle of the night when everyone's sleeping in your house. You'll wake everybody up and they will not be happy. But anyways, pretty cool to see that they come with a little, uh, I think it's a six or eight, it might even be an 8S tester. Uh, nice little add-on, you know, those usually cost five, 10 bucks alone. So anyways, these are pretty nice batteries, been pressed overall, definitely have the punch that I was looking for. And then I wanna just go over a few things here. So we'll actually do a little weight test on this battery in grams. This is coming at about 305, 306 grams. Pretty typical actually overall. I mean, I have another battery here from ProMatch. It's, again, is a 6,500 milliamp hour rating. And with the plug attached, you know, it's about, it's, it's much more. It's actually about 12 grams higher, so. 36 grams is actually fairly light, I think for a 2S LiPo. The other thing I wanna go through real quick is the actual measurements. So length, we're gonna go measure that up real quick. Uh, 139 millimeters about. Let's go check the width. Width on this is 47 millimeters, 47 and a quarter. 
And the thickness should be 25, yeah, about 25 and a half ish. Yeah, about 25 and a half millimeters, pretty typical. So yeah, standard size pack, pretty light, correct dimensions. Um, and the last thing I wanted to go through was actually the uh, resistance test. So I've got my eye charger here, got the battery hooked up, and we're gonna go ahead and uh, I think what we're gonna do is actually try discharging this thing and then seeing what the actual resistance rating looks like. I can actually get this. So it's showing up as about five milli ohm, five milli ohms per battery. That's pretty typical uh, for a, a regular LiPo. Um, if you get anything under that, like three milli ohms, that's actually really uh, good rating. If you get something more like seven, eight, nine, that's actually a fairly poor rating. So five milli ohms is pretty typical for something in, the, in the, especially in this price range, that's actually a pretty good rating. So uh, pretty cool to see. So yeah, overall, I've been uh, quite impressed with the Wanfi batteries. Um, performed really, really well. I mean, definitely the punch, the speed I was looking for, they're you know, about as good as you're gonna get. Uh, the resistance rating looks good. The weight looks good. Dimensions are correct. The only thing I didn't like was I wish it came with different connectors. It comes with Dean plugs, but you know, if you're running XT60s or EC5 or whatever, obviously you will have to swap it out. But that's pretty much the same as other batteries. Um, also a nice thing is that the plugs do actually come out either from the front or up top, so you can actually move them around uh, depending on how you put these in your car. In the uh, Crane, obviously I'm putting these side by side, so it's actually nice that they come out the front. Uh, that way they don't get in the way of each other. So yeah, overall very impressed with the Want Feast. I mean, at 30 bucks a battery, that's an amazing value. I don't think you can find another high quality pack like that for that price range. So quite impressed overall, probably pick up another pack of these um, and you know, switch over to them because my other batteries are starting to get a little tired, a little old, and uh, I need some new ones. So anyways, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe to my channel as always. Hit the add notifications button and look for more videos soon.